Hello, Violent Community. How you doing? It's Bill with the Violentverse. The time has come where I'm going to do a room tour. Uh, I teased this, that I was going to do it back in July, but uh, time got away from me, never got to it. So um, now is the time. So I'm going to give a brief overview of my listening space, my room, how it's organized. Um, a couple months back, we did some reorganizing in this room. And if you remember previously, um, I was kind of just kind of shoved in the corner and we did some reconfiguration and um, was able to kind of uh, expand a little bit and the room, uh, it's improved the way it's laid out now. So, um, yeah, just gonna get started here and show you my room. So to get started, let's... So to get started, here's the famous Genesis picture that was always behind me in my old videos. This is a picture I took when I was in the sixth row, seeing them on the Turn It On Again tour back in 2007 in Philadelphia. Um, took that picture and had it blown up and this is where it resides. I haven't moved it. It stays here. Um, but if I come back, you can see this space is totally different now. We have, uh, let's see how can I do this. Uh, my son's Lego, Lego table, some toys, and over here, bins of toys. And on my shelves, I've moved some select CDs and some CD box sets. Up there is my Genesis mirror that the Vano Guru gifted to me, which I love. Uh, my Genesis box sets there. Uh, some other CD box sets. Like I said, some select CDs. Uh, I don't have a lot of Bowie on vinyl, so I brought up a bunch of uh, my Bowie, David Bowie CDs. Um, let's see, these are ticket stubs from concerts I've been to over the years. Um, this top one is my very first concert, Genesis, from 1987 in Philadelphia. Um, this is uh, my Genesis Japanese mini LP uh, collection here. A few of them don't have the OB strip that you see here. Um, if, if I had them all, you would see the Genesis logo would be completely spelled out, uh, but I'm missing a few there. A couple other things, John Lennon box set back there, some autograph CDs, here's my Chris Squire autograph, Fish Out of Water, I have autographed uh, Jewel, picking up the pieces, my autographed Yes, going for the one, everyone on this album except Rick Wakeman, unfortunately. Um, Steve Howe. Steve Howe album autographed. So yeah, so that's the old corner. It's basically uh, toys <laughs> and um, almost a blank wall. And then now the stereo. down here a second. This is uh, kind of where I sit to listen to music. There's the television. Right now we're listening to Imaginary Voyage by Jean-Luc Ponty. Um, this is a recent Goodwill find. So that was pretty cool. And so stereo speakers getting used to this gimbal that I borrowed from my brother here. Um, 
So turntable is a Fluence RT85. It's uh, great. Really love the turntable. Then I have a um, a Pioneer, um, kind of like a. Uh, it's more for, uh, you know, like a home theater setup, but it does the job. It, it works well for me. It's got a phono input, so I don't need a, um, a preamp. And then I just use a uh, Panasonic Blu-ray player that I had as my CD player. Um, but that's pretty cool because I can play Blu-ray audio and... Um, it even plays SACD. And then down, down here, I just have a container of sleeves and such. Um, speakers. These are NHT uh, bookshelf speakers. They do the job for me. They're nothing too fancy, but they're, um, they sound really good. So this is the main record shelf here uh, and this contains mostly prog and kraut rock and kind of electronic minimal some classical um, soundtracks my 12 inch records uh, this bottom cube here has all kind of um, ambient electronic uh, minimal type stuff. The center bottom cube is stuff that needs to be cleaned still, and that's the soundtracks and 12 inch. And like I said, this is uh, all prog, starting with Genesis, of course. Um, and I keep the Genesis family over here. There's my Japanese. Uh, pressing of Duke that Robert Z gifted me recently. Um, Peter Gabriel. Steve Hackett. Just pull out some random stuff here. Kate Bush. Uh, this is uh, Flaming Youth. Arc 2, this is uh, Phil Collins' first band. Um, Gentle Giant. Yeah, after all the Genesis stuff, uh, it kind of goes alphabetical order. Here's Jade Warrior. King Crimson. Uh, Morellian. Nectar. We have Pink Floyd. This is a bootleg that Michael Dawson gifted to me several years back. Love that. Porcupine Tree. Rush. Yes. After yes, we go into, let's see, Frank Zappa. And then I kind of start into the Krautrock German stuff. So we have, obviously, I start with uh, Edgar Furza and Tangerine Dream. And go into all my Krautrock. And then, like, down the bottom, as I was mentioning, this is kind of electronic, minimal stuff. Uh, this is Lisa Belladonna. Patricia Brennan, a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, Terry Riley. And this is, uh, this cube still needs to get cleaned and filed. Some soundtracks. Here's the fog. Uh, Rocky. Halloween's coming up. Here's Trick or Treat. K 
Okay. So that's basically that unit. And then we come over here is the Lego table. Oh, and my, uh, let's see, how do I do that? Down here. This is my drum pad. I just use that to practice a little bit. Um, I don't have my drums set up anymore, but just keep that. Over here, I have uh, two main units. I got a two by two and then a three by three Kallax. There's just a computer printer there. And then in these left two cubes, I have box sets. Uh, vinyl box sets are on the top shelf and about half of the bottom shelf. Then I have some additional CD box sets. And then I have a weird spot here for Beatles, um, Beach Boys, Monkeys, Michael Nesmith, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Um, I just pulled them out of the collection and just put them in a cube by himself, just just because I wanted them to be get be together. No uh, rhyme or reason there. And then this bottom cube is I got blues. I have jazz fusion and then some stuff that still needs to get filed away and then over here i have these first two and into the third cube in the top row there are all kind of audio file type pressings so mofi uh, acoustic analog productions um acoustic sound series stuff like that uh tone poet Blue Note Tone Poets. Um, and then after that, it goes into um, uh, jazz. So jazz is pretty much that. Most of these top three cubes. And then down into the first two cubes on the second row there. And then, and then that third third cube kind of starts just like a regular classic rock singer songwriter stuff like that um, down into these bottom cubes here and into that third cube that actually has Neil Young and then some odds and ends and then all the way over there there's a single solitary cube that has some 10 inches and my 78 uh records shellac records there um oh, and then just some metal equi medical equipment for my son but in here so let's see uh let's pull out some stuff here's uh super tramp breakfast in america this is music matters tina brooks true blue um, let's see. Uh, this is Verve. This is Acoustic Sounds. Um, Louis Armstrong meets Oscar Peterson, gifted to me by Steve Carlson. Uh, another Allied Productions here Beach Boys, Sunflower. Some Tone Poets. Uh, Herbie Hancock, My Point of View. Uh, let's see here. Lee Morgan, The Cooker. And we have some of the uh, recent uh, impulse reissues from Acoustic Sounds, John Coltrane, Live at the Village Vanguard. Then some re uh, regular jazz here. Richard Byrock, Eon, this is on ECM. Uh, Art Blakey and Jazz Mes Messengers, Night in Tunisia. Looks like the record stopped, so I'm gonna flip that. Picking up where I left off. Um, there's John Coltrane, Giant Steps. Um, and then coming down here, 
some more jazz. Let's see. A uh, Walter Kirsten Trio piece. Love that one. Uh, an art farmer met Grace, so art farmer Gigi Grace on Prestige. Great one. Uh, Mode for Joe, Joe Henderson, another great one. Uh, this is a recent record store day. Uh, we insist Max Roach, the Freedom, Freedom Now Suite. Uh, McCoy Tyner, Trident. And then we kind of get into the regular stuff. And here's B, speaking of stuff, it's B-52's good stuff. Oh, uh, the Cars, Heartbeat City. Let's see. Uh, Johnny Cash, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. And then coming down here, more of the regular stuff here. We got uh, creamed Israeli gears. ELO, Face the Music. Just pulling some stuff here. Grateful Dead from the Mars Hotel. Uh, Jefferson, Jefferson Airplane plus its pointed little head. Coming over here. Uh, Tom Petty, Wildflowers. Uh, Linda Ronstadt, Simple, Simple Dreams. Tears for Fear, Songs from the Big Chair. And, oh, here's Weird Al in 3D. Then we have uh, Neil Young. So that's kind of the collection. And then up on top of this shelf, I have my uh, Project VCE record cleaning machine. I got this late last year. I kind of had some birthday gift money and Christmas cash, birthday money, celebrating my 50th birthday. Um, sorry kids artwork up there <laughs> um, kind of had some uh, extra cash from my 50th birthday and from Christmas so I splurged and got this machine um, there's another model uh, the VCS2 I think it's called uh, which is a little bigger bigger and this vent that's up here on top is on the side which is a little more uh, practical they do they did supply me with a, a disc that sits over on, on top of here that blocks that vent so I do use that um, this is just the cleaning stuff that, that I use for this the brush is here and there's my Vinylverse cup or tumbler that um, I won as a prize from John the Digital Gramophone. And I have my kind of Victrola type uh, machine here that I play acoustic recorded 78s on. Um, at some point, I'd like to start a little series spinning some of those 78s. Once I get a, a bigger collection of pre-1930 acoustically recorded uh, 78s, I'll start that. So you put the needle in here, uh, the crank goes in this hole here, and you crank it, and the record plays that way, the 78, it's at 78 speed. Uh, so that's a fun little thing. I've picked up a 
couple years ago, I guess now. Um, yeah, so... That's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, I kind of sit here and listen to music and... Um, yeah, so... If you have any questions about anything, um, questions, suggestions, um, stuff like that, let me know. Uh, I have everything organized that kind of works for me. I know it's not a per perfect way to do it, but I know where everything is. And uh, like I said, it works for me. So uh, I'm pretty happy having everything situated the way it is now. Um, yeah. So that's going to do it, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone's doing well. And I will catch you later in the next video. Take care now. Bye.